Hey everyone, welcome back to Dan's How To Videos. Today I'm going to be reviewing an app called Patterns, and this app is going to allow you to create your own custom backgrounds for your iPhone. Let's get started. All right, so we're back here with another app review, and the past few app reviews I've done were on games like Mario Brothers style games, but I wanted to get in something a little bit more creative, and that's where this app right here comes into play. This app is called Patterns, and what it allows you to do is build your own custom background or wallpaper for your iPhone. As you can see, I have created one right here. This is very simple. I just created a little bit of a design, and then I widened it up with uh, basically my photo stream and set it as my wallpaper. But you can create some really interesting designs like this one right here I just put together. And you can see it's creating a little boxed effect. Now, when you first get into this, you're not gonna have any of these settings. So I'll just go ahead and I'll clear my canvas here. We'll clear it up. And you'll see that you've got your pixels at the bottom and on the top you have your canvas. Now the pixels are just these little boxes and this is where you're going to draw your design. And to get the little settings tab you just tap on the canvas at the top here and you've got share, settings and color. Now on the share tab you're going to be able to share any kind of design that you create via email, Twitter, your contacts, your camera roll. You can print it or copy it. Now for this case we're just going to use my camera roll when I create it so we won't really bother with any of the other settings or the other share features. Within the settings tab here you can create your canvas size. So usually the height and width I go with is 16 by 16 but you can make it smaller and you can see that the pixels will change and you can get a rectangular effect if you want to. This is just more of the creative uh, abilities of this app. Now it's also got a really cool feature that many apps don't really uh, take advantage of and that's the retina on or off feature and I'll show you what this will do with the designs when I get started here. Um, we'll leave it off to start with and we'll leave our canvas at 16 by 16. Now in the color section this is pretty obvious you just pick your colors and I like that it doesn't just give you a couple of boxes of colors to choose from you can actually get really in depth and pick the specific color you want just by sliding around. So. To get things started, let's just go with a black here and we'll create our outline. I'm just going to create a random design and we'll see what comes out of it because that's what I've been finding. Um, create some pretty interesting designs here. So you can see that um, whatever I draw on the actual page here will come up at the top and uh, create my design for me at the top. Okay, so that's going to be my outline. I have no idea what it is. I'll just give it a couple more um, dots here to fill it in. Usually if I'm uh, creating anything, I'll you know think it first or think it over first before I just start drawing but uh, just so this video doesn't end up being two hours long we'll do it this way alright so we've got my outline and if you want to delete anything you just tap over it again with the same color and you get rid of it now surprisingly for this being so small it's really sensitive and actually grabs every tap so we don't really have to worry about that let's jump in we'll grab some red here and then we will push done and we'll create some more outlines on this just to give it some more color or some color here. I'm gonna actually put black back up there to give it uh, a better look to it. So we don't want that, we don't want that. All right, let's go back into our colors. We'll grab some black again, fix that one. And right here, we're gonna add two. So you can see that the design really starts to come to life as you start adding color to it. So let's put some green. We'll just put a green line going down like this and one going on the angle, and another one. All right, so that's gonna be my design. It's pretty basic, pretty simple, but you can get the idea how crazy you can make this kind of thing look. And once you're done with that, we'll show you the settings section here, retina off, retina on now makes it a much more uh, wider you've got a lot more of your designs showing up rather than just a couple of patterns so I'm gonna keep mine off and we're gonna go and save this I'll hit done we'll share it to my camera roll and uh, we'll go take a look all right so in my camera roll you see I've got a couple of different pattern designs that I've created with this app but this is the one we just created right now and uh, you can get right in and see how it looks and uh, decide if you want to keep it that way or if you want to change it up a little bit more because this will allow you to zoom in on it and really get uh, in detail of what you've created. But let's say I liked it, which uh, I don't really mind it, honestly. We'll go ahead and tap that little button at the bottom. We'll hit use as wallpaper. And now you can move it around or scale it. Now, usually I keep it the way it is, but sometimes I'll zoom it in, which will blur it a little bit, but that's fine. And uh, it'll give you that kind of look. We'll set it. 
Let's set it as our lock screen and uh, we'll go take a look. Open up our lock screen and there you have it. Now this is a very basic design. I just want you guys to see that this can be really cool and uh, your creativity can really come to life here with this app. Now another cool thing that I thought would be interesting here is if you had a stylus and you use that stylus within this app, you could really create some crazy designs. And I just went ahead and widened uh, the picture here for you so I could try to give you a better idea of what you can create. Um, and how you can actually create full designs and full pieces of art, if that's what I, we can call them here. But uh, it's obviously a little bit harder for me to use my finger in the little boxes here, but a stylus would be amazing with this. And you could really get, uh, a really get good design out of it. Now anyway, I was just fooling around here trying to make some grass with this, but uh, you get the picture, you get the idea. Give it a try, it's in the App Store, and uh, personally I think these creative apps need to get more recognition than they do. There's a lot of work that goes into them, and it allows you to really get in depth with your designs and your own creation. I'll just go ahead and show you a couple more of my uh, designs here. This one here was just like a rainbow design. Uh, I also made another rainbow design. This one was the reverse, so this one's going down. Um, this is the one right here that you saw at the beginning. And then this one was the non-retina version of it. So you can see it's a little bit more pixelated, but I find that the non-retina version gives you a better, like fuller feel of what you've created. Uh, I've got a couple more here. Let's just go around to it. This one here, this one was the retina and you can see I can't really zoom in too far on it. And this one here uh, was the first one I created and I just created like this upside down face. But uh, yeah, so uh, give it a try. See if you like it. If you have designs, I'd love to take a look. Leave them in the comments down below. Let me know what you think of this app. Again, it's called Patterns and it's in the App Store. Give it a try. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in the next one.